Okay, this journal is exceptionally short, so it'll take no time at all. It's from 525, the second one of that day. The Mayan day was two dogs, so it's even getting a little dated here. Let's find out what I said. I've certainly forgotten. I just finished a journal, but I have one more little thing to share. It has to do with how I'm noticing things sort of organize themselves around me and enjoying that. I used to carry, as a general rule, quite a number of unanswered emails in my inbox. The reality is that I would probably never get to the bulk of them, but somehow they didn't get deleted or filed. Couldn't tell you why. Then too, when I'm using a browser, I generally run about 20 tabs or more open at once. I've noticed lately though that that's not happening so much. First, I discovered the Watch Later button and Playlist. Very handy. Next, I just seem to be bookmarking a lot of sites I used to keep open for convenience. At least that's why I told myself I did that. Apparently not, but can't yet say. What I can say, though, is that things are just getting a bit neater and loads a bit lighter all around. It's the same thing with the hard drive. Though I knew about them, I didn't use to do much with temp files and cache. Now I find them being cleaned more and more often. And that's odd. Now none of this is from any conscious decision or choice on my part. Seriously, I wouldn't kid you. This is just a part of being danced. It's also part of how the universe, the world, communicates with you all the time with me. What I notice reflected on the outside is increased organization and more or less taking the trash out. What that tells me is that is just what is happening on the inside, both physically and spiritually, if you will. Remember, we are creators of our world. Let's learn to read the signs this way. It's only one of many ways, but I thought I'd share it. No doubt, at least for some, it's a new perspective on things. And you know how much I love new perspectives. They make my heart sing, actually. There's a new life, a new energized something I'm feeling. How about you? Are you noticing that? I'll often wait a while before mentioning something new just to watch it and see if some clarification might manifest. That way I can share with you more than just the raw new thing going on. What with things accelerating so fast though, I may shift over and begin to share more of what I don't yet understand. We can be learning together just what the universe is sharing with us. Remember, I am you, you are me, and these eyes through which I hoped to see God are the eyes through which God sees me. Good night and God bless. That's what I wrote. You know, it's just more and more of how the inside is reflected in the outside. But it's also true the outside is reflected in the inside. And we do need to sit with and own our dark side. This is some of the most powerful work we'll ever do. And what I've noticed is that, uh, for instance, I got cancer and almost died. I was in the hospital in 2000 and 2001. And I was so far gone, I didn't care. You know, whether I was here, nothing mattered. I just, it's it just a big deal, you know. And so, it took a long time. But I came to realize how I put myself there. And it was very much from not being willing to face things. Not being willing to sit with things and look at them and accept them and own them. 
And so spirit will speak with a feather the first time, just the gentle touch. But as we ignore, repress, or just turn away, it gets more and more intense. And I had the railroad tie approach, you know, right upside the head with the cancer. It's like, hello, when are you going to listen? A lot of times, I think, when we get good and sick to where we have to sit on our duff, pretty much, unrelieved, it's a time where, where it's almost like self-forcing self to sit with self. It's like, I got you. You can't run away now. You can't avoid this anymore. Well, dear friends, this isn't being done to us. With our 10% conscious mind, I'm of the firm belief and understanding that this is our own self setting this up because there are things that it's really important that we pay attention to and that we make progress through. And so um, if we want to be dealing with the feather all the time, then it's a really good idea to pay some attention to our own dark side. Good day.